Hello, welcome back to another unboxing. Today's unboxing will be Bloodmarked, the Owl Crate Exclusive Edition by Tracy Dion. And when I'm done with that one, I'll show you two different editions of Virgin Boy. We're going to wait till the end. This is definitely one of my most anticipated books of the year. So let's see what was included. Looks like we have an art print. And on the back, it kind of just tells you some of the features of their exclusive edition. We'll review that at the end. And we have a bookmark. All right, and then, of course, we have the Owl Crate exclusive edition of Bloodmark. So we will undo this from the plastic and take a look at all the features and I'm also going to zoom out a little bit just to make it easier to show the entire book. As usual from the owl tree, it looks like this thing came in pristine condition. I think I might have had damage on an owl crate book maybe twice and all the years I've subscribed and bought their books. So I definitely recommend them if you're the type of person who really wants to make sure their books are in great condition. Okay. So we have front cover, spine, and the back. like this one it looks like it has a few more features than the Legendborn exclusive edition. It's the hardcover. This is like a light, very light blue. I think it looks a little purple on the camera, but it's definitely blue. And the back is blank. And this one has, looks like we've got some designed end papers here. I don't know that their copy of Legendborn had anything on the end papers. I'll have to open that up and take a look. Oh wow, it actually goes on to this page also. That's interesting. And we have the signature page. It's an awesome signature page. And of course the back end papers. And there's nothing on the edges. They're just plain edges. But I believe there is the inside the dust jacket. Oh, okay. It looks like it is a reversible dust jacket. Very nice. So we'll take a look at the spoiler card here. Signed by the author, exclusive cover, reversible dust jacket, exclusive foil case stamp, exclusive end pages, wooden bookmark, and an art print. Okay, so that was everything with that edition. Now we're going to take a look at these two different editions of Legend Board. This is just a regular paperback copy. I believe a Lumicrate sent this as an extra. And this is the Owl Crate exclusive edition, so just so you can get an idea of the cover changes, because I thought this was a good way to illustrate that. It looks like they almost reversed the blue and the red. Because so you got the blue on the bottom here, and the red on the bottom here, and then red on the top here, and blue there. It's definitely a lot more red accents to the Owl Crate redesign cover. I thought it was interesting. And then here's the back of both. There's nothing else special about the paperback. It's not signed or doesn't have anything sprayed or anything. It's just basic, so we'll just put that aside. And we'll take a look at the Owl Crate Edition. And for this one, it's funny, there was a case stamp on this one too, but the uh, book two had a number two right here in the middle, and this is just 
nothing. It's just a symbol with no number. So I found it interesting that they put a two on the inside of the other one, but there's nothing on the inside of this one. Blank and then a two. So that's a little odd, but we'll go with it. Uh, let's see, we've got spine. And again, back is blank. And there is nothing on the end papers of this one. So I was right about that. There is nothing on the end papers. There is a signature page. So let's see if there was anything in the dust jacket. It's been a while since I've seen this. Oh, yes, okay. So this one doesn't have a reversible dust jacket. It just looks like it has a some artwork inside the dust jacket. I suppose you could reverse this and use it as a dust jacket, but it would be a little awkward looking on the outside. So that is that. So that was Bloodmarked and Legendborn, the Isle of Great Exclusive Editions, and just a regular paperback copy of Legendborn. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay tuned because there will be plenty more unboxing videos coming up.